Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video on AI that I've been dying to do ever since the announcement of DeepSeek. But just in general, I'm kind of obsessed with AI, especially running it locally and not giving your data away. So if we're in TrueNAS, you know, usually we would come over here and go into Dockage, but in this case, we're actually going to be running the TrueNAS apps right out of the catalog, and the reason for that is GPU pass-through. Now, it's not hard to do GPU pass-through through the Docker Compose file, but I think it's easier through the TrueNAS um, app catalog. So we're going to be focusing on two apps today. Um, you'll see it under the AI heading, these two. This is Olama and Open Web UI. So the first thing we're going to install is Olama, which is the engine, which is actually going to actually run our queries and run the model that we're going to allow to ask questions and talk to and have it answer us. And then Open Web UI is the actual web page that we can type our questions into and we get this pretty output. I want to emphasize that Open Web UI is not necessary. In the event that you're a command line person, you can just use Olama by itself and go and bash into this container and use all command line. Um, I don't like to do that. I like the idea of Open Web UI. I think it's way prettier. So that's what we're going to do. But we're going to start with Olama and that's what we're going to install. In order to do this, we're going to create two data sets here. Uh, in tank, one is going to be Olama, and it's going to be apps, and the other is going to be for Open Web UI. So come over here. Let's add another data set. I'm just going to call this OI, and I'm going to make this apps. Now, if you have multiple pools, what I recommend you do is put the Olama data set on a space where you have um, a lot of extra room. And the reason for that is the OI isn't going to end up being big. I think mine's less than a gig in total config files, but Olama is where we're going to store the actual models. And if you have a pretty powerful GPU, um, you're going to need some space because the bigger models really do take up space. And however many models you want to download, there is no limit, but each one of those models takes up gigs at a time. So if you have multiple drives, uh, put the Olama one on maybe one of your ones that has one of your V devs that have spinning rust. So you have just a little bit of extra space versus maybe your flash storage. All right. Also, another note on that, you're going to want to make sure you have uh, a dedicated GPU. This will run on a CPU, but um, not well. You want to have a pretty beefy graphics card for this. I'm talking like a 3090, 4090, 5080, 5090, somewhere in there. You want to have something big to do this. But let's, uh, let's start by installing Olama. And this is going to be pretty simple. Uh, we're going to use the default image. I'm going to use the port. Let it be the same. Olama data setup. This is going to be the host path we just made. So tank, Olama. Okay, just like that. I'm not going to give it any additional storage. It's fine. We're going to want to give it as much juice as we can. I'm going to leave it just like this, but you're going to want to allow your resource con resources configuration to be very, very high. And also, whatever dedicated GPU you have, you're going to see the little checkbox here. You're going to want to check to pass through whatever NVIDIA GPU that you have. This is just a test machine, so I don't have any of that. So I'm not going to be adjusting any things down here, but you're going to want to make some adjustments for yours. Everything else up here looks pretty good. I don't think we have to do anything else. You can change your image if you want, but we're not going to need that. Oh, um, if in the event you do have a um, NVIDIA graphics card, you might have the option here for the CUDA image, in which case you may try to use the CUDA image so you can get your GPU working. I'm going to show you guys an example on my real server at the end of this video to show you if you can tell if your GPU... Okay, so we're up and running with Olama. So now we're going to go ahead and put the front end in. Let's put in Open Web UI, and we're going to install this. We're going to leave everything here. Oh, here's the CUDA image, too. Never mind. Uh, so we're going to leave all this all the same. We're not going to touch anything here. We're not going to touch any of the variables. All right, so here's where we need to add some things. So the Open Web data storage, we're going to do this host path here, and this is going to be for... Come on, expand. The OI that we made. And now the Olama, the Olama storage, this is where we're going to store all of the container, all of the, right there, Olama, models. So those are good there. Everything's the same. You don't need to increase or pass through your GPU for the Open Web UI. The reason for that is the Open Web UI isn't actually doing any of the generation of the answers. This is literally just a website front end communicating over API to the Olama backend. So let's install this. All right, we are up and running. That was a really heavy pull. Make sure you give that some time. Mine actually crashed in the middle of this video when trying to run this because I ran out of resources. It takes a lot of memory. We are up and running. So now let's go into our web UI for open web UI. Click our get started button. This is going to be test. My email is test at test.com. My password. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we need to select a model, which we don't have. We don't have no models here. So I'm going to show you guys how to just do some basics to the admin panel. 
Okay, let's go over to settings. First thing we want to do is set up a connection. So it thinks that the Open Llama API connection is here, and this is wrong. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to change that. It is not there. So we're going to come back to here. Where is Olama? Olama is running at this address, 10990.191 at 30068. Okay. Let's save that. That should be working now. Now we're going to come over here to models. And here's where we're going to do most of our work. When we come over here, we'll click download. Now, to pull from olama.com, we're going to want to click this little, sorry, download that little click here button. And this is going to show us all the models. So basically, because I don't have a GPU, I'm just going to download a 1.5 B. But in case you don't know anything about AI, as these numbers get bigger, they require way more power. So for example, a 671 B is something that would run a data center. Uh, a 70 B, for example, might take four very high end NVIDIA cards, something like uh, H100s or a A1000s. I mean, you're talking about graphics cards that are, you know, a couple thousand dollars or more a piece and you would need a lot of them to run a 70b model anything less than that you might be able to pull off on some really high-end cards again because i have nothing attached to this i just want the 1.5b i want that one so in order to pull this what i want to do is i want to have deep seek r1 colon 1.5b i believe it is so let's copy this word right here let's come over to my min panel I want to come over here and see how this is the example mistral dash you know, colon 7b. So in this case, it's going to be our model, and our colon is going to be 1.5b. Okay, let's hit the download button, and it's going to say pulling manifest, which is great. So it's downloading here. We can see it's pulling our model from Olama. We're going to give this a second because once it does this, it also has to build the manifest for it. So once it's actually done downloading, it's going to do some back end, some unpacking, mine something like that uh, before it's actually good to go. It's checking the SHA. So here we go. It's verifying the, di the digest and we're successful. It's writing the manifest and that's what it needs to do. So now we can come out of here and I'm going to refresh the screen and let's go back to models and there's our model. So now we can come back over to our chat. I'm going to click new chat and now we have a model here. DeepSeek 1.15b. So when we type in here and I could say, hello, how are you? Tell me about something. It's actually going to generate an answer. In this case, it is not going to do that because, again, this is a test machine. It would completely crash my test machine. So here's how you're going to tell if you've done this right. I'm going to close this, which is my test machine, and the DeepSeek R1 and close that. This is my actual TrueNOS box. You can see I have Olama and OpenWebUI running right here. Let's come over to the OpenWebUI. So this is the OpenWebUI for my actual um, machine. So I'm going to say, tell me about space. Now, while I'm doing that in my other tab, I want to come over here to my shell and I'm going to blow this up and I'm going to type in NVIDIA dash SMI. You'll see right now my Quadro is running. So Olama is up and running and it's taking up a bunch of space. It's taking up 95% of my GPU. So it's running. Now it's going to generate my answer. So it's generating, it's generating, it's generating. Let's come back up here. You'll see 97, 97, 97. I'm just going to keep hitting up and enter and watching it do its thing. But what you want to see is you want to see some space taken up here and you want to see a percentage here. And again, this is my NVIDIA card. It's a terrible card to do this on. This is a P400, which is mainly used for transcode. You do not want to run OpenAI off of a transcode card like this. Uh, not great. But yeah, you just want to see, again, you can see it's Olama servers running. It's taking up all its memory. It's doing 97%. That's what it's doing. So here we go. So my model is now generating. It's generating slow as dirt because, again, it's a terrible graphics card. But this is how it works. You can see I've also downloaded some additional models up here. I have an obliterated model. I've got DeepSeek. I've got... Um, I, have a one point, I have a 7B and a 1.5. I was able to get this 8B working on my card. It just doesn't work well um, at all. It generates really, really slow. But anyway, this is just a really cool demonstration of how to run local AI if you have the hardware to do it. The setup is obviously super simple. Um, look, come over here. I'll show you my, sh my data storage real fast so you guys can see how much space it's taking up to actually do this. So I put it on my big pool. And you can see with my current setup, uh, OI, where is OI? Olama. So Olama is right here. And my configs for OI are here. So my OI config is taking up about 886 megabytes. And my Olama is taking up about 23 gigs with the models that I have, which is nothing bigger than an 8B. So just you guys can kind of use that to scale and get an idea of how much space you're going to want to have. But 
Uh, yeah, no, running and up. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Uh, if you really want to say thank you, buy me a coffee. And if you want to check out some really cool videos that I can't show on YouTube, please sign up for the Patreon channel. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.